you heard about SpaceX's yeah, just, rocket. Just exploded. No, 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 Corbin. It didn't explode. Oh, yeah? Yeah, according to SpaceX, it was, quote, an unscheduled rapid disassembly. That's what I call when I ejaculate. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions. I'm Corbin. Baby, I'm so sorry about that unscheduled, rapid disassembly. <laughs> follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon. Follow us Twitter account. Subscribe to the like button. Had another URD. Uh, fun times. We have a new Nawaz trailer. Wow. About, it, in it's fact, about damn time, to quote Lizzo. This is actually the second one in a few days, but the first one, which I believe was more of a comedy movie, no subs. Uh. And um, so I, I still don't have that one, unfortunately. This one is called A a foie. A foie. A foie. A foie. It sounds French. It does. A foie. A foie. Hey, hey uh, no hey, one's a Din Siddiqui in a foie. The SpaceX rocket blew up. A foie. <laughs> uh, with no one's a Din Siddiqui. Boomy. Boomy. Uh, Sumit. So with your M on above S. In cinemas, the 5th of May, also known as Cinco de Mayo. I'm excited. The uh, day after May the 4th be with you. Haven't had uh, a Nawaz film. No, Have we seen been a, a Nawaz time. film in theaters? Hold the phone. No. We have not seen a Nawazid and Siddiqui film in theaters. Everything we've ever watched has been OTT. Because, yeah, there's still new ones, but it was uh, like they had the Netflix film yep. with Radhika. Yeah, that one with Radhika was a, it was a straight to OTT film. Uh, so it's no. so crazy how we've been doing this for four years, and I just assume we've seen all these people in new films, and we haven't all seen right. a lot, actually. Um, no, it, it come out. I mean, COVID did a number on a lot yeah, of big time. Um, but all right, here we go. <laughs> Looks like a Nawaz film. <laughs> Answerable to a bunch of self styled activists sitting in Delhi. Because my fiance is the future deputy leader of the party. Presenting Mr. Rahab Ahmad. Achi Kahania, Wohe, this with Tarko. You have to provoke it. Why? You have to ask why. Dear Papa, Bagra Yuto Kahina Kahi Gati Aki Mio. national career Is that the meaning of afwa? Does that mean rumors? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Um, is this a true story? Did it say? Or is this just like a... I It, it didn't say that it was. Mm -hmm. I think it's... It, it looks like it's fiction based on... Maybe something. what really happens when people spread rumors, which yeah. is is uh, 
<laughs> in the day of social media, oh, it's kind of common. A little bit. A little bit. Um, looked interesting, though. Um, it gave the, speaking, I mean, the legs that rumors can get, example, oh, or false accusations. Mm-hmm. Do you remember the story, and you probably know how this resolved, the story of the woman who accused Marilyn Manson of all of the sexual predation and abuse and slavery and claimed all of these horrific things that Marilyn Manson had done to her. Mm -hmm. And those that those allegations were out there for a year and a half or so. Mm -hmm. She recanted and said she made it all up. Mm. But for that year and a half, so many people jumped on the bad wagon of calling him a predator, a deviant. Yeah. All because she just decided I'm gonna make some crap up. Yeah, it's it's a it's a difficult situation because obviously you never you always want to let it play out. Because just like with that that actor who's just uh, what's his face? He yeah, was just in the Oscar film this past year. Um, uh, um, more it starts with an M, right? Uh, oh, I'm thinking. Of, I may be thinking of a different. Black guy, the black guy. Oh yeah. Um, he's in Creed. He was just in the Last Ant Man. Yeah, won't be in anything ever again. But uh, <laughs> uh, it's like. Like the first one came out and people were like, oh, it's a it's another Amber Heard situation, which right. is obviously a very famous, you know, somebody who lies to get what they want. Um, but then there's probably a thousand other ones that are actually true. And then people try to discredit that. And then right. more comes out and it's like, oh, yeah, this guy's kind of like Kevin Spacey or right. or nobody wanted to believe Bill Cosby in the beginning either. I mean, everybody believed Bill Cosby in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> and then stuff came out and it's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. But also, India is also so different as well because mm -hmm. there's such, especially for public figures, mm -hmm. if there's already a disdain for an actor or something, people automatically just cling to something yes. to further their narrative. Of, Absolutely. And, regardless and, of if they have the evidence to prove. And it. stories get withheld and stories get spun. This is a very timely film in terms of innocent people being used by the guilty in order to kind of clear their name. Yeah. I don't think we need to go any farther than looking at example, the, the totality of the Dominion Fox suit, which is another one that's coming in regard to things being said that aren't true and the culpability you have. I, this, if as no surprise, Nawaz is in it. We're going to want to see yeah, it. Yeah, of course. But that was a very interesting, intriguing trailer. How's the director? Uh, his name is Sudhir Mishra. I don't think we've seen anything of his. I don't think so either. Let me look him up though. Profession director. Credit. And his, this is this is written and directed. A serious man. Which was that serious man? Was that Nawaz? don't know. We never saw it, but no. um, I remember it coming out, though. I don't remember any of those other titles. Has he directed do, 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 some do, do, TV, do, do, maybe, do, do, that we've do, do, seen? He has 21 films. To, A lot is, of TV episodes. Is that the Scythe one that got so much... Uh, Tanav? Is that the one with Scythe that got basically canceled because of the politics in it? I don't think so. That okay. name doesn't ring a bell. But okay. he's got a lot of television credits as well, so there's there's experience there for uh, sure. Yeah, he has 21 film credits, so he's yeah. been around. Yeah. I don't recognize him, though, so you guys can tell us uh, how he is as a director. And everybody, I mean... What? What? Did you see Topsy in there? No. It. It's, it's got her in the credits. I do it's got, not... It's got to either be a mistake or a cameo. Yeah, and it's just doing. I saw I saw Bohumi Pednikar. Yeah, Bohumi was in yeah. there, but I did um, not see I did not see Topsy, and I would think that she would stand out. If we missed her, that's amazing because I wonder if it's maybe she was she shape shifting. Was originally supposed to be in it, and IMDb is just slow, or she's got just a supporting or, role, and they or, didn't put her in the. That'd be weird, why wouldn't though. you put Topsy in the trailer? You definitely, anyway, you definitely would if she's in it. Um, Good trailer. I'm intrigued. Yeah. It looks, and you guys can let us know if there's any information, like if there's like, you know, like what this is based off of, If even if it's not a true story, like, oh, I know what they're going for. Yeah, there's kind of, there's no log line for anything on uh, IMDb Pro let's see describing it. it's on here. Um, on the trailer? Yeah. Sometimes the monster chasing you is a rumor. Rahab, a top advertising professional, and Nevi, a political heiress, find no place to hide as they get entangled in a vicious rumor created by the social media machinery. Mm. Uh, that's exactly what it looks like. How a foi changes the course of lives. In terms My of suspicion is a foi means rumor or rumors. A foi. A foi. 
F- it just sounds French. It does. F- I guess anytime you uh, add the W's, it's going to... And it's and uh, any softness to it. Vowels F- and softness. Les vols se font que petit petit chocolatier. On les doux for more. On les vols chocolat que one que tu. Un petit. Où tu les vois quoi? Oui. Au foie. Au foie. Yeah, I miss uh, watching. Uh, there's so many other Nawaz films that we haven't seen as well. Uh, there's Photograph, uh, which obviously is but one that we were very interested in. The thing I appreciate about this in particular is it looks like Nawaz is playing our hero and an innocent guy who's standing up for things that are right and gets particularly framed by the social media machine is being used mm-hmm. as a scapegoat or something by this politician and gets caught in a web of stuff that... He had no intention of getting into. Um, This is, um, I think he's made a conscious decision since uh, our conversation with him. He's played a lot of heroes. Um, He he told us he wants to be the guy that gets the girl. Because I think he didn't want to be stereotyped. Yeah. He only plays a bad guy. Right. Um, which makes sense. He's he's an he's a thespian. He is a a very elastic actor. Dent of the word. Correct. Very elastic. And he's so he's like, even though I enjoy playing these roles, I like doing different things. I like absolutely you know, my, all actors do. Honestly, just like f- for me, and I'm not comparing myself to Nawaz. I'm just saying, playing bad guy roles is easier for me than probably playing a normal person, uh, because I just I'd be in my head playing a normal person. I'm like, it's, I feel like I'm not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like I'm. Just playing myself, and so it might be even more challenging for him. I bet playing a villainous role is quite easy and natural for Nawaz. And I think you might find, and I I could be wrong in this, but you might find that playing those characters enough times gets you to a place where you feel stagnated and you want to be challenged as an actor and do something that scares you. Mm Mm-hmm. So then that very well may be the case. But the bottom line is there's no question about the capacity of him as an actor. And uh, uh, thankfully, it's not just him in the film that interests me. It's what I see in the trailer. Oh, I am doing another film with uh, Anya Rock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Ooh. I'd love to Untitled see. Untitled Nawaz and Siddiqui series. Ah. Project in development. In pre-production. Yeah. Vundaba. Films in production. Oh, this is the one where he plays the transgender, right? Yeah. With yeah. All the... Uh, so we got one film this year, two, Tiku and Sharma. He's filming right now. At least it says he's filming. Don't know how much he's in that because it doesn't look like it's his film. Looks like he, maybe he's supporting. For what? The one, the Tiku No, he's uh, in the poster. Are you sure that's, I don't know that that's. that's oh, hundred, yeah, you're right. That's him. My bad. But I do believe it's with Kangana. Is that what I just saw? Don't know. Sorry, hold on. I just saw something. Was it? Who was it with? Was it? No, Kangana's, Kangana's producing. Uh, I could. It, maybe it's a sequel because I thought he was in a film with her um, not too long ago. And what is this? Bully. One of the writers is Jai Hind Kumar. That's a cool name. No joke. <laughs> Bully. A film by Sadiq. Oh, it looks like a. Is that a nepotism thing? Uh, could be with the last name. Anyways. Any old who. It's Nawaz. Sorry to bore you. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime Nawaz is in something, I'm very interested. Uh, let us know what the next Nawaz and Siddiqui film should be, outside of obviously this one. If you're excited for this one, anything else we need to know down below. Josh!